Hello my lovely Pisces, welcome to your October 2018 reading. This is a reading, a general reading for you my lovely Pisces. Also listen to your rising sign and your moon sign as some months they will resonate more for you than your sun sign will. Uh, so have a listen to those as well. This is, as I said, a general reading. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, then follow the link below to my website and there you can book a reading uh, with me. All the details are there for you to book uh, your reading. That's a reading that's going to be much more specific to you uh, to help you along your journey to see what's coming up ahead for you and the best, best path, best choices that you can make. So have a look at that as well. I'd like to thank you for subscribing and for sharing and for commenting on my uh, channel. I really appreciate your support. Makes this all possible really, doesn't it? Um, so thank you very much and I'd like to thank all those wonderful subscribers that have booked a reading with me uh, and it's really nice to connect, put a face to you so that I know who my subscribers are makes for a better connection and it's really lovely to be able to give you a, a reading and help you on your journey as well. So have a listen to your monthly reading, see how much of it resonates for you. Some of it will resonate for some, all of it will resonate for some which is absolutely fantastic. Timing's going to be a little bit different for each of you because your, your natal chart is different and so where the planets are and timing of events is going to be a little bit different but um, it's about talking about the energy that is with you in October and it's what we do with that energy that's our free will we can choose to sit back on the lounge watch TV do nothing much or we can choose to use that energy to propel us to where we want to go what are our dreams and aspirations so let's have a look at what's going on with you in October shall we <clears throat> first up I've got the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Wands is can be a male or female figure. Now they, they generally represent figures, but people in your life, but not always, not always. And you know that's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and um, that's the, that's someone that's around you that is an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. It's going to be play quite a significant role for you in. Um, in October, I feel like this person is going to sort of give you, I want to say a, a, a boost, a leg up, a, um, some assistance in helping you over some sort of hurdle, some sort of situation, some sort of uh, block that you've got that um, that's stopping you from moving forward, that's, that's uh, stopping you from making some sort of decision. So this person is going to be quite significant for some of you uh, in helping you, motivating you I guess, giving you the confidence to take that next step to, to move forward in your path, in your journey. They're going to play quite a significant role for you in, um, in October. And it's sort of the beginning of October. It's like you know, you've got this, this gentle little push. This person's energy is going to really um, affect you. It's really going to motivate you. It's really going to uh, make you look at um, opportunities that you may not have been aware of, that you didn't know were there, um, you weren't looking in that direction. They're going to open some sort of door, some sort of bring, and you know, a doorway is an opportunity, is an opportunity. So that they're going to present opportunities or a different way of looking at things, um, more fiery, um, which is very not, you know, it's, it's a different sort of energy that Pisces are usually used to working in. So it's going to be really good for, for some of you. For some of you, this is actually the energy that's coming in around you. The energy that's coming in around you is, is one of um, really this is it. This month I'm going to start making a change. I'm going to bring change into my life. Um, I'm going to pursue something that brings me joy, that brings me passion, that is my purpose. Um, I want things to be different. That's the sort of dialogue I'm hearing. This is what my guides are telling me here. Um, I, you know, it's I want, I want something to be different. I want to bring some sort of energy into my life. I want to uh, connect with 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 people I haven't seen for a long time. I want to connect with with um, new people, bring new people into my life, do something different 
um, and and it's it's October that's going to create that motivation to make that change for many of you Pisces and I really like that energy because it's really going to bring this sort of breath of fresh air this you know it's 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 as if you know I just see this house which is you you know your house is you and you're just opening all the windows opening all the doors letting in the light letting in the fresh air changing changing the air bringing in that freshness uh, and that's your life you know the house represents your life uh, they often show me things in metaphors but that's what I see you know you're bringing in this light this fresh air this new energy um, around you and I really really like that because what's crossing you what's coming your way is you've got the magician here and the magician is crossing that sort of energy the magician is your ability to manifest and to make things happen and so if your desire is strong enough you really start bringing that energy of change in and that's what it is it's your desire it's you've reached a point in this year where there's a balance of you've got pentacle swords wands and cups in this in this cup um, card in the magician and the magician is able to use all those energies all those different energies and bring to bring them together to create something new to bring in and manifest something new and so if you've got that real fire in your belly that the queen of wand represents um, that real fiery but confident energy then you are able to manifest and bring in the changes that you're seeking because that's the energy that's around you it's one of really being able to create that that newness that's around you that new energy that's around you and I really really like that it's about you know you've got the high priestess which I always I always think the high priestess does represent Pisces you know it does represent Pisces there's a the water there's all that blue blue energy there's that dreaminess there's that dreaminess and it's in that dreaminess it's in the imagination when we when we you know imagine and we drift off into this imaginative well that's where we create and it's it's using that emotion and so deep down inside you you have that gut feeling you know what you want you know the direction you want to move in you've got all the answers it's about tuning into that and bringing that forward you know coupled with the magician that's pretty powerful that's a pretty powerful setup that you've got there you know it's it's the magician can can manifest it in the material world and the high priestess has that intuition has that sixth sense has that ability to know what direction to go in what what's needed what changes wanting to is needing to be brought in and it's coming from deep down and so I want to say to a lot of you what is it that you wanted to do when you were a child what was it you know when when you sort of drift off and imagine what was it that you wanted to bring into your life it's that's all being stirred you're making you're having a reconnection with the past with what's gone on and you're able to manifest that revisit that and bring it forward make it part of your every day because you have the desire these cards are absolutely fantastic you know the queen of wands rep represents your desire your passion your life's purpose the magician is going to allow you to absolutely create that and to bring that in and the high priestess is they're in touch with the spirituality, in touch with the other world, in touch with your gut feeling, in touch with, with, with what you want to create. They're creation cards. They're creation cards and the Queen of Wands gives you that passion to create it, the ability to create it, to bring it into the, the, the third dimension, to bring it into reality. I really, really like that. <clears throat> I really like that which is a real change to what's gone on in your past you know what's gone on in your past you've got the seven of swords here and the seven of swords is you know um, you have been deceived you have been betrayed you have been hurt you have been disappointed by by someone or others um, putting your faith in others relying on others <clears throat> you have been hurt by that but that's what we're here for. We're here to make that connection. We're here to make a connection with other people. It's, we're not here to go solo. 
we're here to connect with with people and you have been heard but it's about picking yourself up dusting yourself off and moving on and putting your faith again in you know choosing wisely in the people you have around you but there has been some sort of disappointment something's been taken from you and that's not necessarily materialistic but just a part of you that's been taken that's gone missing and you're going to rediscover that you're going to rediscover that and you're going to become whole again in October so there's that energy there of really becoming your own person and becoming whole and moving forward <clears throat> I really really like that and what you've got here is the king of cups the king of cups is your card as well you know you've got you know a lot of representing you this month, Pisces, representing who you are, your essence, rediscovering that. This can be male or female. And, of course, it's Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio. For some of you, it's going to represent someone that's coming into your life, someone that's coming into your life or is already there in your life to support you, to nurture you, to look after you, to restore your faith in, in humanity, in people, um, I really, really like that. It's someone that's going to take you beneath the surface with your emotions. That's really powerful, isn't it? Take you beneath the surface where you're not just an observer, but you're actually going beneath the surface and exploring your emotions, um, re-establishing your trust in, in this person. Now, if it's not a Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio person, it's someone that has got water, those, you know, water sign water signs in their chart very strongly so they have those nurturing loving gentle qualities about them that are around them <clears throat> for some of you it's actually going to represent your growth you're getting back in touch with your emotions you're getting back in touch with your trust and opening up the walls are coming down really really um, nurturing looking after loving and giving of giving of yourself to others is what that's going to represent for many of you. It's really about self-development, I think. October so far is about self-development for you and really fine. It's about you. It's about what do you want, laying the foundations in October to move forward into 2019, <clears throat> strengthening yourself, becoming strong and being able to move forward. It's about, you know, you, you get to a point, I think, in about week two, week three of October, where you think, no, I, I've had enough of the past. I've had enough of this. I've had enough of this betrayal. I've had enough of this disappointment. I've had enough of this sadness, and I'm going to walk away from it. I'm going to walk away from it. You come to a realisation that instead of wallowing in what's gone on, you're moving away from it. You're moving forward. You're moving forward into your future, into a brighter brighter future, brighter horizon, brighter new world that you are creating, that you are manifesting, that you're bringing in because you can define what it is you want. And you walk away with that with courage because you're ready, because you're ready to walk away from that <clears throat> and walk away with courage and, and move to do bigger and better things, leaving behind all that baggage, leaving behind what no longer serves you, leaving behind those that no longer serve you. So I really, really, really like that. You're going to come to that realisation um, in mid-month, mid-month, um, week two, week three of October. Um, some of you will come to it earlier. Maybe some of you have already come to that sort of deci decision that, you know, I'm no longer going to... To do that, to, to reflect on the past, to live in the past, I'm moving forward to, to brighter things, to, to brighter things, you know, and what that is going to bring about is, is the two of, two of pentacles and the two of pentacles is balancing. You're going to, for, I feel like your social life is actually going to take off and I feel like this represents your happiness, this represents your future, this represents balancing balancing your social life. You know, you're going to get invited to a lot of things. You say yes to everything and off you go. Take, you know, um, you're, going to, you're going to be balancing your work and your social life where your social life is sort of going to, going to take over more in, in October. It's, you know, you're going to be invited out. You're going to... Uh, and, and say yes to everything because it's just you're going to manage it and it's going to bring you a lot of joy, um, abundance. <clears throat> For some of you, I feel like you're balancing two men, two, two men, two women, two, you know, whatever, 
two people, two people that you are connected with on a love uh, connection. Um, and it's, you know, you, you're going to be very popular. You're going to be very attractive to the opposite sex or the same sex, whatever it is for you. Um, but you're going to be very, um, very popular. You're going to be asked out. You're going to be, uh, your company's going to be sought. You're going to be balancing these two situations. And for some of you, you're balancing work and your social life um, because you made this decision to leave the past behind you, leave the past behind you. And maybe this is part of what you're wanting to manifest. This is part of what you're wanting to create. This is part of, you know, I'm going to start living and I'm going to have a really good time. For some of you, I feel like it's work. There's two jobs, two situations that you're balancing, two situations that you um, <clears throat> are looking at and balancing out which one suits me better. I feel like it's work for a lot of you. Um, some of you are going to be deciding where to go on holidays between two places, two two places um, as well. So there's there's a situation there where you're balancing your life, balancing what situations are coming in into your life, um, which I really really like. I think that's really good. <clears throat> You've got the ten of wands here as well, and it's again walking away from the past, but taking with you what you've learned, taking with you your your passion your your skills your you know you're taking you know the ten of wands is a passage out of difficulty it's the end of the the suit and you know it you've gone through that whole suit of you know all the difficulties all the battle, battles all the hurdles and now it's time for you to move on to your the next phase in your life move on to the next thing um, which i really like <clears throat> moving forward moving on moving on the knight of cups is you know there is going to be communication over wires there is going to be communication with you there is going to be i really want to in have more friends around me increase my social circles i want i want love i want to meet that that special person i want to move on with that and you're taking it's your decision it's your choice you're taking the action to move forward with that you're doing that you're taking the action to move forward with that. <clears throat> and I like that because there's going to be choices, there's going to be decisions for you and it could be this, you know, this this decision, you know, you've got two and, and that's always a choice. They're choices and decisions. <clears throat> And, you know, you're going to think, oh, well, do I need to decide? You don't. There's no decision you need to make in a hurry. There's no decision that you need to make until you're ready. When the time is right, you will know what choice and what decision you need, you're needing to make. That will be uncovered for you. You will know because you'll follow your instinct. You'll follow your gut. You'll know what decision to make. If you don't know what decision to make, don't make any. Just wait. Wait till you know what choices and decisions you want to make about the move, about the change in job, about um, which job do you want to take, about a relationship, about um, whatever it is for you. <clears throat> if you're having a hard time making that decision, don't make it until you know what, to, what to, it's going to just come to you. It's going to just come to you. So follow your gut. Always follow your gut. Always follow your instinct because that will unfold for you. That sounds pretty exciting, my lovely Pisces. So um, there's going to be a lot of fun and a lot of creating and a lot of changes coming in for you in October. I'm just going to take a card out of the Angels of Abundance for you and see. Oh, there we go. Let's see what it says. Have courage to ask for accept and accept help. And that's, you know, connecting with people, connecting with friends, connecting with those that are around you. Ask for help is a sign of asking for help is a sign of strength and is accepting it as it is offered to you. Very often when you ask the source, God, the universe for help, prayers are answered through other people. 
Be sure to accept this assistance as well as give it to others as you are guided. And that's very much what October is for you. It's about connections. It's about people. It's about making that connection with others and increasing your social circle, asking for assistance when you need it. And certainly Pisces are always very quick at giving it out as well. <clears throat> so... That's absolutely fantastic. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful October and I will see you in November. Enjoy your journey through October and I wish you many, many blessings.